Um, so the way that I work, uh, I start from Scott's script, and uh, it was a 60-page script, and I I broke it down into what I th where I thought the, the pages would be. And then I took that and made a, a, a thumbnail version of it. So very, very tightly drawn uh, comic version that has all the dialogue and all the scenes in it. And I, I drew it two pages to a, uh, two pages to a page. And this becomes like the roadmap that I use to, to make everything else. Um, all the decisions about pacing, storytelling, uh, character design, um, emotion, acting, it's all here. If it's not here, it, 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 you can't expect that it'll show up later in the book. The only things that aren't really here are details like background details and, 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 and the small uh, nitty-gritty of, of drawing. Um, this is more about the, the broad strokes. And then from there, what I do is I, I take my thumbnails and I go and I, I work on, on large paper, um, Bristol board, which is basically like the same stock of uh, paper that, that a paperback book, that the cover of that book, that's what I'm working on. And it takes ink really well. And I use uh, nibs, which are like old and timey pens that you dip in ink, and uh, brushes. And I use both of them to, to, uh, to draw. So I, I lay out everything uh, using rulers and, and uh, a T-square on my drawing board. And I lay out all the, pen, the, pa the panels, and I do all the lettering, which is the actual words that you'll read. Um, and once I have all that done, then I have this, I have my road map, and I have the, the actual uh, place the drawings are going to go, and then I just, I work. Uh, I work for several months, and I, I, I pencil it all in one go, and I ink it all in one go, and uh, the, the idea is that you, you, you get into a, you try to set yourself up, you set up all these different stages so that when you're at the final place where you're making the work, you can sort of just be, you're not making any other decisions, you're just drawing, you're just, and then when you're inking, you're just inking. Inking is, is again with a brush and the, the nibs and you're trying to, uh, to have as much fun and, and put as much energy and I, I, I personally believe that like if you're, if you're drawing someone who's happy, you have to actually be happy. And if you're drawing someone who's sad, you have to actually be sad for that to work because otherwise it's not, it's not there and, and you, so it's, it's it's you have to focus your mind entirely and be entirely present when you're when you're working. It's uh, it's exhausting and it's hard, but I love doing it and um, and uh, I think the results show on the page. Awesome. And then okay, so can you tell us also like okay from then the inking's done, then you scan that oh, and right. size it down. Totally. So uh, after the after the inking's all done, uh, I uh, scan everything in the uh, on my scanner, uh, bring it into Photoshop. Uh, I, I reduce the size to the size that it's going to be in the final book. Um, I clean everything up. I take there are always little smudges and dust spots and places where the, the pencil wasn't totally erased, and I, I take those out. Um, then I add in gray tones, and if I'm doing a color uh, piece, I, I add in color. And that I then uh, transfer into InDesign, uh, which is a formatting program. And that's how you actually lay out the book, so that uh, then you're you're putting the pages in the right order, and you're you're adjusting the borders, and um, and from there it goes to a, a printer, and they end up actually making the physical books, um, and that's that's how a comic gets made.